my brand new tutorial about Android uh, application development and today my topic or discussion will be a little different because I'm gonna uh, talk about um, Android login uh, API which is a default login API provided by Android uh, but also I will be discussing about this new login library which is called Timber which is very exciting and it will uh, make things much easier when we work about login okay and okay so apart from that uh, Timber is a really good login library using Android, which is an external library, but it is uh, it has some cool features. I'm going to discuss also about that. But uh, before that, I will try to discuss about what is the Android um, default login API. So um, if you guys really don't know about login, login is something which will uh, let you output short messages to the console so that you can view them and see the result. OK, so um, actually the format of login is this one log dot I with the tag in the as a front of first parameter and the message as the second parameter, right? Log has different levels which uh, are used in different situations. OK, so let's uh, do the simple login here. OK, so in the main activity, I have a OK, let me log um, some message here. OK, let me create a log message here. Mm, the information the tag is uh, always the, the activity what I'm here main activity and uh, the message is on uh, create uh, called okay and uh, similarly you can also I can also create another override another method like you can also actually as I told you in my previous lectures control if you select control O we can we have all the mm, available methods to over override so let me write start i want to override on start on start on start where is on start uh, let me see on start start okay 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 where is on start oh yeah this is the one i want to override so here i will also create another log uh, dot i with the tag main activity and i will call it on start called okay so this is uh, uh actually default login api android it's a default android login api okay so we are using a default login android api to log in and i will just show you this case okay and so if you run this application and if you are really new to login so i will show you in a step by step uh, what is this login and where we can get the this log messages we can read the log message in the log cat okay if you click this here we have a log cat and actually uh, this log cat we have a various kind of log informations here okay uh, giving providing extra information about the app but uh, how do we uh, really use this we can really use this because we have various uh, filters here okay so there are different filters so this is uh, the emulator that we are running on okay so there can be for example different emulators you can select among uh, all the emulators available here so this is one of the filter and the second one is uh, okay for the moment it is uh, the gradle is building the file so we have to wait until the gradle finishes and this filter is a filter which is associated with the app so once the app is installed we will also see the filter here okay let's just wait for the uh, app to run yeah as you can see we have also the another filter which is actually filtering among the app okay so there are um, so we are filtering to this app our app is my cool app okay and there is also another filter which is a um uh, which are uh, various levels of um, log that we can use as i told you log has different levels okay which uh, are used in different situations the levels are and the uses are listed below so we have a verbose so if you see here uh, we have a verbose uh, we have a verbose what is verbose verbose is uh, so all the log messages by default so everything you see here for the now for the moment we are seeing every log messages here and you, we have a debug which will show debug log messages uh with the id uh, d if you see log for example log dot d this is for debug okay so log dot i is for information log dot um, e is for error 
uh, log dot um, there are different like log dot warning do, for warning okay log dot assert for assertion okay so uh, so these are the stuffs okay and uh, for the moment i want to see these logs okay how can i see that those logs if you see info uh, information is for the so expected log ms uh, messages for regular users as well as message level lower of their list so possible issues or warning okay errors possible war errors and assertion okay uh, so let's see the uh, our information log message by using the info filter and uh, mm, we will be seeing the our log messages uh, okay let me check uh, okay if you see here I have these two log messages that I was created in the main activity and default Android app login on create called right I, I put these two messages log messages like uh, uh, default android uh, login api on create called and on start call if you see we can see these two log messages and actually you can also have extra filter if you want to filter only in this activity then uh, you can uh, you can filter in this way right so for the moment i can only see the particular uh, log messages that i want to see in this particular activity that is main activity right so this is a default way of uh, uh, yeah, um, default Android login API okay and the way the default uh, way of uh, implementing the login okay so um, and uh, that's it it's very default it's easy okay so and this is the default way of making a log and actually also we have here various um, uh, we can also select the regex here okay like the means like matching it each characters and stuff like that also and uh, if you see we can also actually log on the base of the filters firebase okay yeah, and uh, also edit different configuration all right so now i want to talk about this uh, new login library which is timber okay and what is this timber login library and why it is uh, is um, is better than uh, the default our default android login library api uh, the benefits of using timber is it's generate automatic tag so you don't need to set up manual tag for example i am setting the manual tag here right now if you see the tag i'm passing main activity as a tag right so i don't need to do that so uh, timber will automatically get the tag by itself okay and um, we also avoid the log in released app apks so that means you know the good the best thing about this uh, login library uh, timber login library is that you know all this log uh, when you release your app uh, in your release version these logs are not present there okay so you know you have some extra benefit this is the one of the best benefit and also the, it's easily integrated with the cache reporting libraries okay so okay let's uh, um, uh, try to uh, check how can we use this uh, timber how can you set up this timber and how to, how to use this timber class okay so um, we have to add timber to the gradle file uh, so uh, go to the project okay let me remove this um, extra uh, window and then if you so see uh, I have a uh, I implemented this library timber login library which is this one right implementation uh, com jquarton dot timber dot timber okay so actually you can also uh, watch my my blog where I have just um, uh, given the setup here like uh, the procedure so you can just read my blog and like do the setup copy and paste it and I'm using a timber version 4.7.1 which is in my project level gradle file I have uh, in the extension um, uh, so folder like in, in my extension uh, here I have provided this timber version okay which I can be I can use it here so as a timber version I'm using 4.7.1 so this is the uh, simple gradle setup then after you make a setup you sync the project so all the libraries will be added then you make application class so why do we need this application class Um we need this application class because we need to uh, initialize the timber version you know so that's the main reason main purpose of application class but this application class is a very important class because it's a base class that contains global application state for your entire app so when your application is very complex uh, and you want to uh, you are integrating many libraries like timber 
for the moment we are using timber maybe in the, um, uh, in the net like you would like to import other libraries like maybe coins you know coin is a library for dependency injection or maybe you would like to uh, integrate other libraries like uh, retrofit you know stuff like that so you uh, use this application class to make an initialization so i will be using this i will create an application class okay to initialize my timber you why i need to initialize this timber because uh, timber needs this application class because the whole application will be using the log logging library right uh, i mean all the activity you know so we have to initialize the timber before our activity is created or before a fragment is created that's why we need the application class because it's the mm, uh, base class of all uh, that contains all the global application state okay um and also sometimes you want to do the some specific setup for your utility for your entire app and you can do all uh, those uh, uh, utility setup in the application class uh, actually you know and also the interesting thing is for the moment you know i don't have any application class so uh, is it necessary to create application class uh, it's not necessary uh, for example there is already a default application class created by your app operating system uh, but in case if you have to make some special utility setup just right now i'm trying to make a utility setup for the timber library then i will create an application class okay so just don't um, uh, get confused that you have to by de default create a new application class no by default application class is already present there uh, okay if you are not doing any extra setup if you are creating an extra setup then you need to uh, create this application class to make the setup okay so, so let's create the application class uh, and uh, my application class okay will be uh, my cool app okay so this is my application class uh, which is obviously uh, extending application as a parent class and i am uh, overriding this on create method okay so i will do the all the initialization here uh, the, in, uh, the utility utility setup here okay you we do the all the utility setup here that means uh, so you know the second step is we make the application class okay now you have to add the application to the manifest okay so let's go to the manifest and add the application how do we add the application we add the application this way name and you add this application class if you do not if you forget to add this application class in the uh, in your manifest file then it will uh, if you forget to add this then your timber will not work because actually you know it will try to initialize the default application class okay which is not uh, this one so if you are creating custom application class like this i'm doing then you have to also uh, be careful about adding the application class uh, in the manifest okay set up the many uh, application class in the manifest okay then we are good to go now the third is initialize timber in application class so let's initialize the timber uh, timber dot plant uh, okay uh, we have to plant the timber uh, here okay okay in the as a debug tree so we have to set up the timber here we set up the timber here so we set up the timber here now so after you set up the timber let's uh, rebuild this project then we are good to go mm. okay now we will try to use this uh, timber login system okay after the build is finished okay let's go to the main file okay now the greater build is finished so now i will g give you a simple um, uh, a demo of how we use the timber login we use the timber login simply by timber.i and you see you don't need to specify any tag you know timber login okay a p i uh, on create called so uh, you see i'm trying to give you the difference how is the difference between this uh, default api and the timber so so we don't need to specify the main uh, like the tag as a main activity it's pretty easy right also let me also use the timber login here uh, as i then i am using timber 
login api then i will be also on start call okay so now let's run this application and check the um check check it here like check it in our locket if uh, the the timber lo login is also present here you see we have the timber login and also like like the tag is present here right you don't need to specify the tag uh, by default so this is pretty cool guys so you know it will just um, save you extra effort it will also um, like have some other benefits like avoid the log in the really your release app apk also easily integrated with the cache reporting with the library and also our setup of timber is very easy you know like this few four steps and um, that's pretty cool and also you know the timber has all the possibilities like we have all the labels like for i for information d for debug e for error you know w for warning you know so every you know, labels that i have your default uh, login api is uh, providing you is all present here okay so you can log uh, in different label right so that's cool i i hope you like it uh, please uh, support me and subscribe me and uh, thank you for for listening and hope you will like it thank you